Good morning, y'all. Yesterday was a long day, but we bought um, a set of pots and pans from Sam's Food. How much was it? What? The pots and pans. Was it they were one hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, we really do need new pots and pans, and we can make our mind up on which set we wanted. Cause honestly, there are a lot of money. Uh -huh. money. And we just really haven't saved to make a, another big purchase like this. Seeing as how we just bought a Vitamix not too long ago. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And show you guys what our old pots and pans look like. Don't judge this. Make them college. And I mean, they over. Eight years old because our daughter is seven. I think they'll be about seven or eight years old. Either way, they look bad. This is the set, 15 pieces for anodized nail stick cookware. We thought about getting a stainless steel version, but I bought my husband a stainless steel skillet for our anniversary. And, uh, we're not familiar with it. So this is everything pretty much still inside the box except for these things because I took them out to see how they stick. So I'll show you guys all the pieces when I get them out of the box. Okay, this is pretty much our live pots and pans from under the cabinet. I don't know if we have anything in the dishwasher if we do. It's probably good. Huh? Who? Oh, yeah. You're right. Because we won't need them no more either, huh? Shit. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get them out next. Thank you. Look at that. I know I had to throw one of these away a couple of years ago because I was making a sweet potato pan and it didn't go so well. This is not as old as the other stuff. This the uh, stainless steel one I was telling y'all about that we just got. It's not horrible, but it doesn't look so clean. I don't know what to do. I don't know. We might get rid of this one too. It's gonna be the makeup. And then this is new, so this is a yes. Because of course it's brand new. Probably gonna use that today to make some fried rice. Mm. This one doesn't look that bad yet. yet. I'm gonna put this over here too. And then let me put all the new stuff right here and show y'all what it looks like. And then my husband just reminded me that I need to get the lids. So I'm gonna get the lids out and show you guys those too. Cause I'm pretty sure we're not gonna keep any of them. Okay, so I got everything at the box. And there was this card in there. I was like, oh, a 15 year warranty. No, it was a 15 piece set anyway. I'll show you guys the 15 pieces and it tell you what all it includes, uh, cleaning, tempered glass care, stuff like that, important stuff. Doesn't say anything about a warranty, I checked the website. But if you didn't get one, this is fine because this is just something to carry us over until we save up for the set that we really want. Um, who knows what they'll be when that time comes because of course it'll change because everything changed so fast. So I came with this big. I don't even know what it is. I think it's gonna call this a skillet. With the lid. So this is probably gonna be something that we use quite often. Three skillets. A uh, stock pot. Another stock pot. Three boilers. Lids. That I'm sure match quite a few things. I don't know. Probably does match this skill there. Hmm. Both, both of those lids match that, so I'm going to assume that all three of these lids go with these three pots right here. So 
We are gonna get rid of this one since we have this one and this one, which are pretty much the same size. My husband said he's gonna hate to see this one go. But we got another one. We might as well let this one go too. What you think? Mm. Yes or no? Okay, we'll keep this one. And I'm going to get out the lids and show you guys what our old lids look like. I'm pretty sure we're going to get rid of all of them because I don't think we have anything else left that'll fit. Um, any of this stuff since everything came with lids. Um, well, except for maybe the small skillets. But I don't think they came with lids in the first place. So let's get those out. All these damn lids. And I could never find a lid to match a pot. As you can see, it's probably like two or three different types of lids right here. But we're just going to get rid of all of them because we don't need them. We got lids for everything now. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to put everything, all that new stuff under the cabinet and show you guys what it looks like. Our cast irons are still under there because we ain't getting rid of none of them. That bitch is built for life. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all that. Some of the leaves are interchangeable, which is great because this is the lid for that bigger pan or skillet, whatever it's called. And this is the lid for the stock pot. And this is the lid for the other stock pot, but they are um, both the same size. So like if you want to use both of your stock pots at the same time, you could. Um, I guess you couldn't use both of your big skillets at the same time, but that's cool. And like I said, all those old lids, all those old pots and pans, that's one of the new skillets I'm getting ready to put up now, but I just wanted to show you guys that the lids are interchangeable, which is great. Okay, as I put all this under here, I realized we only have six lids, which is amazing, because we have a 15 piece six, so that means that we have nine bottoms and six lids, and everything has a lid except for the small skillet. And this is how everything looks stacked under the cabinet. All the pans and skillets back there. The boilers and pots up here. And then our cast irons back there. Everything stacks very nicely inside one cabinet anyway. So this is great. Um, and if we wanted to, you know, set some other things over here on the side, we still have space for that. Like I said, we haven't used anything yet. So I guess I'll come back in maybe a week or two and tell you guys how it actually works and if it's actually worth the money, which so far i'm very impressed uh it feels good it's not super heavy but it's not super light and everything has a lid which is perfect so like i said i'll come back and tell you guys if i actually like how it cooks